Hello everybody, Mark here, and today is day number two of the £25 Asda Food Challenge. Now, for those who don't know, I've already done a Farm Foods one, which is a uh, freezer company, freezer food, frozen food company. This one's an Asda. I went down to Asda at the weekend, spent £25, and the object of the challenge is to make as many dinners as I can with those £25 worth of ingredients. Today is number two. Uh, check out yesterday's number one. I had um, chicken, uh, cujons, potatoes, and anyway, have a look at that. Today is going to be the same with the veg. Now, you saw, now what, what it was, I've got, I bought two of these. Right, these are £1.15 for two and a half kilos of potatoes. Uh, I divided those up into uh, different portions and the potatoes, if I can, uh, oh yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, split each, each uh, I've got two bags, so I split one bag into five. So that makes about four or so potatoes, 23 pence worth of potatoes. A little bit of broccoli, I split into six pieces, so that's nine pence each dinner. Uh, carrots, 50 pence, I split those into seven ways, all right, so today's, today's gonna have seven pence worth of carrots. What was that? That was, uh, oh, the microwave. Um, onion rings, I'll, uh, in fact, I'll show you the packet in a sec. Onion rings, I had 14 of them. Uh, onion rings £1.25 and there was 46 in a bag which makes 14 of them two and a half pence each totaling 35 pence and a chicken Kiev now that's going to be a little, little bit of chicken chicken Kiev bit of garlic in there they're two pound for a pack of four and I'll be using one so that's 50 pence grand total you'll see it in a moment today's dinner actually let me hold it there uh, today's dinner is going to be £1.24 pence there we are. So, um, I'll show you the... Okay, the, the Emmy rings. I'll show you the uh, the Kievs on another one. I've got three more Kievs, so I'll show you them on another video. Asda breaded onion rings. I haven't, I don't think I've ever had, well, I haven't had breaded onion rings for a long time. I'll go for the more battered one, but uh, bread, you know, batter. Uh, our crispy and golden crumb served with a. So, oh, it suggests serve up with steak and chucky chips. Oh, you, you know. Anyway, so that's what turns uh, 14 of those. So, uh, yeah, like I say, I'll, I'll show you the Kievs in another video. Now, there you go. So, that's the potato. What I did. Oh, the potato, by the way. Unlike yesterday, ah, yeah, yeah, I'll move this over here. Unlike yesterday, I yesterday I boiled the potatoes and then put them in the oven for ages to uh, to bake, you know. Uh, but today it was suggested to me by somebody at work who uh, I don't think they would sort of. Uh, Help me out too much. They told me don't boil them, just cut them up, put them straight in the oven, Co cover them with oil. And I don't think that worked out too well, but I'm going to try. They, they look a bit sort of naff. Anyway, uh, oh, and that reminds me, I'll do a shout out to somebody in that regard. Okay, so anyway, there's a chicken, one chicken Kiev with a bit of garlic sauce in there, and there's 14 onion rings. So that's what they look like. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm not going to be going with ketchup, uh, I'm not going to be going with gravy, I'm, I think I'm going to try some ketchup today. Let's see, uh, oh I might put a bit of vinegar in there, just to uh, give it a bit of flavour. A bit of salt from a new, I've got a brand new salt shaker. <laughs> this for... In case anybody's interested, yeah, the, the, the old one was, it's actually a pepper shaker, but uh, the, the old one was clogging up like crazy. Hopefully, 
Oh yeah, you've got to watch the uh, the amount of salt that comes out of there. Uh, there we go. Yeah, the old one was clogging up like mad. It was going to be a pain. Anyway, uh, let me do a couple of shout outs, okay? Uh, put uh, Arthix Full. A R T H I X F U L. Arthix Full. Uh, put the potatoes in the microwave for five minutes, then put them in the oven. That was their suggestion. Thank you very much. I'll actually do that tomorrow with tomorrow's tomato potatoes. Hmm. Breaded onion rings are okay. I mean, given the choice, I'll have batter, but you know, it's because of what I'm used to. But yeah, bread is fine. Anyway. Dan, Dan, oh, he's liking the money-saving idea. He likes the um, the saving of the money. Um, I thought he might appreciate that because I think he's starting to learn. You know, he, he likes a bargain. He's uh, been picking up some tips from the show here. <laughs> and he lives near an Asda, so I think he'll have a special interest in uh, this week's challenge. So, thank you, Dan, Dan. Naz F. Loves the channel. I presume it's a she, watches all of my videos. It distracts her off of her problems. She's having a few um, issues, which I won't go into, but she, she wrote it in the comments. Uh, you know, she's saying it's, it's a nice distraction from, um, which is good, you know, I, I like to um, I like to think that, um, I'm glad to know that at least somebody's, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, finding the channel useful. It's, um, no, I, I know a lot of people do, but, uh, but you know, it, it's good. If you can watch the channel, it takes your mind off. And thank you for your comment. Nez F. Okay, now, i tell you what. I actually, I actually take that back about the potatoes. I thought she steered me wrong, the woman at work. When she said, just put them in the oven, you know, um, coat them with a bit of oil. But they're, they're actually, they're not exactly, they don't taste like roast potatoes. That's right, but they taste, taste different than the ones yesterday. But, um, but then I boiled the ones yesterday. But yeah, these are actually quite good. Considering I didn't boil them and nothing. Yeah, the, the outer skin, because I've left the skin on them, just like yesterday. There you go, there's, um, you know, the, that's where the fibre's at in the skin. Plus, who wants to uh, spend the time peeling a potato? I mean, that's the thing. I mean, you figure, being a tight wad that I am, I just, this, you know, um, if you peel a potato, you think about how much potato you're throwing away. Um, you figure if you if you peel twenty, you know, ten or fifteen potatoes, that's the equivalent of throwing one potato away. You know, yeah. So every ten potatoes you peel, you're throwing one away. That's uh, you know every bag that you buy. Yeah, there's about fifteen potatoes in that bag. Every bag you buy, you're throwing a, a, a fair sized one away. Who wants to do that? It's money wasting. So, uh, yeah, when you look at it that way, it, it, it's, it's a bit pointless peeling the potato. And you get the fibre from the skin. Um, yeah, anyway. Back to, uh, I suppose I'll tell you about what's just, um, yeah, th th this isn't, um, isn't one of the biggest dinners. What I thought was, I, I didn't want to I was going to go with two key Fs, but I thought, you know, what I'll do, I'll put one in and then fill it up with uh, uh, onion rings to try and give it, you know, a bit more. That way I can use the box of four, spread them over a little bit, over more dinner. Hmm. I think tomorrow I might use the cro croquet, anyway, they're sort of like tubes of, uh, a bit like you ever see a rubber bullet that the police shoot into crowds. It's kind of that shape, 
but it's made in potatoes. Uh, smaller, of course, but it's made of, it's like it's potato and it's covered in breadcrumb. That's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, a bit of a strange reference. I know rubber bullets if Coach Nobby's ever seen one. But, um, you, you mentioned a sh Anyway, you, you'll see it tomorrow. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah. The KFs are very nice. There's a little bit of oil in there, a bit of, bit of garlic oil. But, uh, all in all, you know, it, it's like mushed up chicken wrapped in breadcrumb. Mm. Actually, very tasty. There wasn't that many uh, varieties, actually. At least not that I could find. I found this one. There might have been a ham and cheese. I don't know. Oh, what there was. In the chilled cabinet, which I was going to go with for four, they had a ham and cheese and a plain one. And then I went to the freezer, and I found it was more economical to buy the freezer with frozen ones. So I put them back, got the frozen ones. Anyway. But yeah, I'm actually pleased with the amount of stuff that I managed to get from uh, I, from uh, Asda. I better do some interesting dinners. And I had a quick count of roughly what I figure I can make out of the ingredients. And uh, I, I think I can do more than I did with the uh, with the with the um, farm foods uh, challenge. With the farm food challenge, I did nine dinners. I could definitely do more than that. Anyway, okay, so there, uh, there you have it. We've got like four potatoes cut into pieces, baked in the oven. We've got a little bit of broccoli. We've got, we've got two carrots. Every every time I do uh, some veg, it'll be two carrots because I, I split the bag into um, six or seven portions. I can't remember. Anyway, so two carrots. That's uh, seven pence worth. There you have it. Uh, onion rings, 14 of them. At two and a half P each, 35p, chicken Kiev, the four in a box for two quid, so that's 50p. There you have it. Today's dinner is a bargain price of £1.24. Oh boy. And uh, of course, every day I'll be doing the whiteboard so you're, you know you can keep up with what's what. And then just like the last change, we do a grand total. Okay, so there you have it. And I uh, hope you like the video and thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.